Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about a personal application that we can all take away from the lesson that is the Apostle Peter. As we've begun to look at the letter of 1 Peter, and we focused in on the author who is the Almighty and the author who is Peter, we've come to realize that there are some things that we can all learn from the lessons that we can take away from Peter's life. One of those early lessons I'd like to tap into today is our response to the gospel's grace and mercy. And let me ask you, if you're one who has received eternal grace and mercy, saving grace and miraculous mercy from Jesus the Christ, my question for you in the lesson I'd like us to look at is how have you responded? What are the biblical responses, the best responses to having received God's grace and mercy? Well, Peter, as we've already seen, is far from perfect, just like you and me. He's far from perfect, and yet he is one who we can see the transformative power of the gospel in and through. In his life and through his life, we can see that he has been miraculously changed and he's been gospel graced. Amen. And if you're a Christian, so have you. So what do you do with that reality, the reality of God's saving grace and miraculous mercy? I would suggest to you today and ask you to pray about this, that the two best responses to the gospel's grace and mercy, to the love, grace, mercy, forgiveness, passion, restoration of our Lord, the two greatest responses that you and I can bring to bear are authenticity and change. Authenticity and change. Let us be easy to see through because we are transparent and authentic first vertically and then horizontally. Let our Lord and the world see him at work in and through our lives authentically. And then secondly, let that authenticity be connected to transformative change. May we be more like Christ every single day. Remember, if we are truly Christians, we are all miraculous, Christ-like works in progress. May we, like Peter, in our imperfections, bring a passion to the world that shows we have, in fact, received God's grace and mercy. And the way that they will know it best is by seeing our authentic, transformative Christ-likeness, our miraculous, Christ-like work in progress, all by our Lord's grace and all for his glory. Amen and amen.